example. It's been an amazing journey over these last four years. The first time I showed people what Google was doing with Kubernetes was to a startup accelerator with an audience of six. And so it's great to see so many of you here today. Thank you so much for coming. We'd like to talk about a couple of the things that uh, we've been working on at Google and that we've announced today. The first thing I want to tell you about today is a new open source project. It's advancing the container security field. It's called GVisor. So like Kubernetes, Istio, gRPC, GVisor is built on the same design principles that we use internally at Google. It's a new kind of sandbox that provides isolation for containers. It's more lightweight than a VM, but it provides you with a similar level of isolation. It gives you that strong boundary by intercepting application system calls and acting as a guest kernel, all while running entirely in user space. And as you see there, it's available to download today at GitHub. Let's have a look at a quick example. I know this one works. It is recorded. This is a VM that's vulnerable to the dirty cow exploit. So you see there an OCI bundle. This is running a container using run C. GVisor is implemented as an OCI runtime, so we're going to be able to take that exact same bundle and run it under GVisor to show you the situation where we are not exploitable. What we have here is a eluded, elided version of our exploit where we can see that we've managed to change the password file inside this container. So we have a user process running in user space that's able to access a file that it should not be able to. So you can imagine that that said something which would reset the password, and now I have control of that container. We don't want that. So let's look at exactly the same thing. Again, exactly the same configuration file, exactly the same bundle, but now we're going to run it under run SC, which is the GVisor OCI runtime. We'll enable some debug functionality. We'll actually let you see the system calls as they go through. And that gives you a little insight into how the exploit actually works. It's causing a race condition in the kernel by alternating very quickly between two system calls. And that will eventually give you root access. But GVisor is intercepting those system calls. It knows it's not allowed to run them. And so when we look at the password file at the end of that exercise, we have not been exploited. So we have been able to prevent that exploit. And similar classes you will see in the future using GVisor. So the next thing that we announced today is Stackdriver Kubernetes Monitoring. It's a comprehensive observability suite for running at scale on Kubernetes clusters in any environment. Stackdriver is more than just monitoring. It brings together metrics, logs, events, and metadata. You don't have to do custom instrumentation on your underlying infrastructure, because many of you will have built that already using Prometheus. The Stackdriver ingests Prometheus metrics without you needing to make changes to your environment. It's part of our commitment to Prometheus and open source. No matter where you have your Kubernetes deployment or how many clusters you run, you can observe it in a single place. So it works great standalone or combined with traditional Stackdriver functionality. Let's have a quick look at Stackdriver. Up the top, you see the event timeline, which is a heat map of violations of incidents or alerts. We have views here. As a systems operator, we might want to drill down into our node and then look at the work that's running on that node. As a developer, we might prefer to look at it from the controllers, the workloads, then into the pods. Or for a customer-centric view, we can look at it from the services and the pods that run under them. As we drill into one of our objects, we can click and see detailed information, such as memory or CPU utilization. And then we can see the logs in context. You can see at that point in time, these are the logs that were generated by that particular pod. If we want, we can drill into the full logging interface, and then we can even use BigQuery to do queries across the entire log system. But for now, let's use the Metrics Explorer. So we had some sort of spike with the networking and the customer service. We want to find out why. So we'll select what type of object we want to look at. We want to look at a Kubernetes pod and its metric of bytes transmitted. And you can use, again, metrics from Kubernetes or any Prometheus metric that you've provided yourself. We'll filter for the service that we want to look at. 
And then we can group by services or cluster name. And we can aggregate with functions like sum, max, 95th percentile, and get a view of what's happening at that particular point in time. So Stackdriver Kubernetes monitoring helps you get faster time to resolution, working with any cloud, working on premise, providing views for both operators and developers. It's built on our many years of experience running large clusters at scale, built on advice from our SRE team, and it's fully integrated with GKE. It's available in alpha clusters today. One quick thing I'd like to tell you about, as Liz mentioned, my colleague Adam and I have just launched a new Kubernetes podcast, which is a weekly show focusing on news and insight from the Kubernetes and cloud-native ecosystems. We've just published our first show, so please take out your phones, go to your favorite podcast application, just search for Kubernetes podcast, you'll find us. We have some great interviews published and coming up. So please take a look at our new projects. Feel free to come out and see us at the Google Cloud booth. We have a great program running in our lounge. We have a live mural being drawn tonight, so do come along and see that. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show.